Hey guys, Sophia here with Turquoise Toffee and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2023 IFBB Pro League Masters Olympia, all of the women's events. Bikini, wellness, fitness, figure, women's physique, women's bodybuilding. This was outstanding. Everybody looked amazing. It was so exciting. The pictures are incredible. And I've got another recap coming your way of my 10 weeks out point to the Bikini Amateur Olympia. So stay tuned for that one. And of course, there are more show recaps coming your way as well. Okay, so let's begin with pro women's bodybuilding. This was crazy. In first place, Rashana. Second, Barbara. Third, Virginia. Fourth, Donna. And fifth, Sylvia. And if you guys saw my prediction video, I didn't do too badly. I got quite a few of that top five. Okay, so here's Sylvia in fifth place. Gosh, she looks so good. I love the roundness in her quads. I think she's got a really small waist. She's got good curves to her lats. Beautiful biceps. She's posing really nicely. You definitely notice that X shape in her silhouette. Her suit is a great color with her tan. Just overall, really nice. I think the conditioning could have been a tiny bit sharper, particularly up into the upper body. I think you're seeing some nice lines in her quads and her abs look amazing, but I wouldn't mind more sharp outlines to the biceps, for example. Um, the tan was nice. I think it could have been even darker and maybe even a bit more glossy shininess in some of those areas to really highlight some of the muscles. Um, but still, I think she looked really good. Very full, very round, great shape. Next is Donna in fourth. Wow, so impressive. Her size, the legs are crazy good. I love how not only does she have a really big sweep, she's got a lot of mass to the inside of her legs. She's just got this beautiful uh, silhouette from her calves all the way up. So I think she's got amazing legs. The V taper looks really good too. The lats narrowing down into her waist looks fantastic. She's got great delts. I like the conditioning in her upper body in particular. I think you get a lot of outlining, um, good detail coming through. She's got a lot of size in the arms. Um, the, I think the legs could have had a bit more of the definition to show off some of the individual distinct parts of the quads, maybe a little bit more striations coming through, but still she's got a really good size. Her tan is nice and dark. Um, she looks really, really quite incredible. Next is Virginia in third place. So there's the conditioning that I'm talking about. You've got detail in the quads. You can see different distinct parts of the quads. Uh, the lines go all the way up her thighs to the suit. Her abs look amazing, perfectly symmetrical six pack, great lats, beautiful upper body. And the definition is perfect. So all of the muscles in her arms are popping. She's got some sheen and gloss to highlight the, the top of the delts, the peaks of the biceps. Uh, I think she looks just unreal. Maybe she could have a bit more spread to the lats in this pose just to make the V taper more prominent. She certainly has great size in the lats, but I wish that we could just see that more obvious width coming through to her small waist. Um, that's about it. I think she looks really awesome. G great uh, posing the way she's got her legs out, I think really accentuates the curve of her quad and the smallness of her waist. So really beautiful. Second place, Barbara. This was exciting. I love the legs, I think she's got a really good size in her quads. Her sweep looks really high, really round, very full. She's got good detail coming through in the legs and those quad muscles, nice fullness and curve to the underside of her legs. She's got a smooth shape. Her waist looks nice and flat, like the stomach looks flat with a nice smooth waistline here. 
big uh, lats that I think are very nicely proportionate with her legs and beautiful upper body as well. The conditioning is pretty darn good. I think you get a lot of detail coming through in the legs, some nice outlining in her upper body. Uh, the tan I think could have been more even. The color could have been better distributed all throughout. Like there's, there's kind of a different color to her midsection than there is to her top of her arms which is different a little bit than her legs and I do feel like she could have a bit more of that glossy shininess as well and then um, one more thing I feel like if we could have seen a bit more of the six pack come through that would have been really something else but like I said I think she's got great fullness really good size and fabulous proportion between top to bottom and I love the suit color I love that she's got a bit of a pink lip I think she looks really good. Now in first place is Roshana. Amazing. Her waistline is so small. Nobody comes even close to that. Um, extremely visible abs. Very tight, smooth, flat midsection. And then just the proportion of the muscles that come out of that midsection, right? You've got these massive lats and then tiny waist and then massive legs. And it just creates the most crazy shape. It's undeniably an X from a distance. You can see it from a zoomed out picture. You can see it. And she's just incredible. Good conditioning. You've got detail coming through in those quad muscles, some lines coming up. Her upper body looks really good. Uh, the suit is really pretty color. It's shiny. It, the, her lipstick looks nice. Like she really nailed it. I think she looks fabulous. Okay, so here's the, the lineup photo. I know it's not particularly clear. I zoomed in quite a bit, but you can see the shapes and the conditioning still. And Rashana's midsection is so small, so cut with the ab definition. Um, her legs look unreal. Barbara beside her, I think has some really good legs as well, but not quite the waistline of Rashana. Um, absolutely amazing. And from behind, oh man, beautiful glutes on Barbara. I think she's got great size, but again, the midsection, her V taper is not as impressive as Roshana. I think Virginia also has some really good 3D quality to her back muscles. I like her delts a lot. Um, I'm not crazy about the cut of the suit on Donna and Sylvia. I don't think it's as flattering to their glutes as our top three. But overall, I think Roshana really nailed it. She's got size. She's got that small waist. So you see her V taper. Her muscles are really popping. She's got some good fullness in her back here. Just overall beautiful. What an amazing master's top five. Okay, let's move on to pro fitness. This one's exciting. In first place, Mina. Second, Stephanie. Third, Tamara. Fourth, Jenny. And fifth, Debbie. And looking closely at the scores, okay, so Tamara was in first place for her physique. Mina was in first place for her routine. And then there was a tie in the scores. The tie was broken by the routine. So at the end of the day, Stephanie took second place and Tamara fell to third. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. It was an amazing win for Mina. Um, wow, Th this was so top notch. And in terms of my predictions, I did pretty darn good. Okay, so here's Debbie in fifth place. Beautiful, very small waist, nice balance between upper and lower. I'm particularly loving the curve to her quad in this back leg. I think she needs a bit more conditioning to show off some of the detail in the legs and maybe a little bit more size and curve to the delts. But overall, she's got a nice silhouette, maybe a little bit more height also to the glutes. Um, but yeah, a nice silhouette, nice small waist, good posing to show off the lat spread and a nice suit as well. I think she looks really good. And there's a quick look at her routine. 
Definitely some more conditioning would have been good to just make some of those muscles in the legs pop and even a bit more ab. Next is Jenny in fourth. Okay, a little more conditioning. Her abs look really good. She's got some lines in the legs to show off some of the quad. I think she's got really good height and size to the glute here. So she's got a beautiful silhouette to her back. Um, that nice gorgeous curve. Great delts with good outlining. Just overall, I think she's got a really great look. The pose, I feel like, could have been more sideways so that we have a smaller waistline and more of that kind of um, hourglassy shape to see in the curve of her back. She's a bit straight on, but that could just be where this photographer was in relation to the judges. There's a look at her routine. Okay, next is Tamara in third. Remember, she placed first in the physique round, and I think that's very clear here. An amazing physique. She's got such a V-taper with her tiny waist and very large lats and delts. Her glute is a beautiful curve and amazing definition, as always, coming through in her legs. You've got so many lines and great details. You've got this lump of muscle in her glute. I think her hamstrings look really curvy. Her quads look full. Uh, I love her calf muscle just really popped and she's posing beautifully. Great curve in the back. Nice small waist. Her tan is gorgeous. Her glossiness is perfect. Like everything looks amazing. I think she really nailed her physique this um, at this show. The suit is beautiful. She looks stunning. There's a look at her routine. Next is Stephanie in second place, who we recently saw at the Vancouver Pro, and she looks amazing. I think she's got even more fullness and size coming through in her legs. Her hamstrings look really good. Um, really nice fullness in the quad. And still, despite having a little more fullness than I think we saw in Vancouver, she's got just as much conditioning. The line looks amazing. Um, nice small waist, beautiful curve to her back. Her lats look good. Great shoulders. Um, I think the twist in the pose here was a little bit better, only in that we could see the back shoulder a bit more. Uh, but that, again, could be more of an angle of the photographer than what she's actually doing in her posing. I love the bright makeup. Her suit is beautiful, great colors, fits her perfectly. I love how high the strap comes up on the side. Um, just overall, absolutely gorgeous. In in this view, her hand is obstructing the glute a little bit, but I think you can still see that she's got a great size and great shape. There's a look at her routine. And now in first place is Mina, who looks so good. I think she's got a lot of size. Her upper body in particular has a great triangular shape, just a Gorgeous amount of muscle in her delts and her lats. Um, nice definition coming through in her oblique. Beautiful curve to her glute and nice detail also in her legs. Um, her waistline is not the thinnest compared to some of the other girls, but she's doing a really great job of posing so that she's just showing off the curves and the size. Nice level shoulders. Um, her hair looks beautiful, makeup, suit, all of it. I think she really nailed it. She looks amazing and uh, what a great win for her. There's a look at her routine. Here's the lineup. I think it's undeniably Tamara's win in terms of her physique round, the definition in her legs, the curves, the smallness of her waist, and the fullness in her lats and shoulders. Uh, I think Stephanie has a really great V taper. Um, I think Mina has really good detail coming through in her legs. Jenny, her abs and her small waistline look incredible. And Debbie, I think, has a really nice tight small waistline as well, but just not quite the shoulders and the V-taper. 
from behind. Tamara definitely stands out here. Her glutes look really beautifully round with great detail coming through in her adductors. Um, Mina also has some beautifully rounded full glutes, but again, not quite the V taper as Tamara because of that tiny waist. She's got really good definition coming through up by the delts as well. Stephanie, great V taper, um, just not quite as beautiful in the shapes of the delts on Tamara. Okay, moving on to pro figure. In first place, Jessica, second, D, third, Gina, fourth, Corey, and fifth, Zulfia. And when you look at the scores, it was pretty close between Gina and Corey. And as far as my predictions, pretty great. I think this was my best one. Okay, Zulfia in fifth place looked stunning. Absolutely beautiful suit, great posing. She looks tall. Um, her conditioning is insane. So much detail coming through in her quads. L great sweep, nice small waist. Her abs look amazing as well. Really good de detail coming through and gorgeous upper body. Like she is really nailing it. We just saw her recently at Tampa where she looked just as good. I love how dark her tan is here. And I think she's got just the right amount of glossy shine on her delts, on her quads. Uh, yeah, she looked amazing. I love the cut of her suit too. I think the bottoms come up really nice and high. It's extremely flattering to her shape. Next is Corey in fourth place. Oh my gosh, her delts are amazing. So high, um, really nice size with the lats. She's got a nice tiny waistline. I think her V taper looks really good. Her legs look awesome as well. Maybe not as much detail coming through as we saw in Tampa. Like I really notice the, the lines and the, they just look really deep and sharp. She's still definitely extremely conditioned. Don't get me wrong. Um, I think she looks really good here. It's a really great silhouette, nice small waist. The suit is beautiful. The only thing is I feel like Corey could have a bit more size to the inside of her legs or maybe even just try to pose to reduce some of the space um, just to make the legs look a little bit more large. But that, But that's basically it. I think she looks absolutely stunning. Okay, Gina in third place. Oh man, she's so muscular. Her legs are huge. Her lats are huge. Her delts are huge. She's got a great small waist. The just, man, she looks so good. Um, full in the legs, even more uh, of that size, I think is coming through than we saw at the Vancouver show. Maybe not quite as much definition. I mean, it could be the lighting too, but I feel like you could see a tiny bit more detail than you saw here, but I think the curves look great. Her abs look really nice and man, do, do her lats ever look amazing. I think she's got such a crazy V, um, really dense and full. Beautiful suit, great posing. Uh, her shoulders look really popped. I think her shoulders look even better competition to competition. Like the, the curve and the height compared to Wasatch, stunning. Okay, next is D in second place. Oh man, her conditioning, her legs look unreal. So much detail coming through in her quads. Her abs are so visible, really small midsection, amazing V taper as well. Really good proportions between the top to this tiny waist and nice fullness to the legs. I do think she could have even more size in the legs. Honestly, she could have a little bit more sweep maybe to this higher part up here in the leg, but She's got a beautiful overall shape. I love her delts. I love her colors. The The dark, dark hair with the green is so vibrant. Uh, her eyeshadow, the suit, everything. But mostly I'm impressed by her conditioning. I think she looks really great and, and beautiful shine to the quads as well. 
But now Jessica in first place, undeniable. Her shape is so special. Her width, her waist and her midsection is so small, but it goes and goes and goes. So you've got this length to her torso, amazing size in her quads, lots of detail coming through. The ab definition is really good. And wow, her delts. Nobody's delts are even close to Jessica's. So overall, her silhouette is extremely impressive. Her posing is perfect. The suit, I love how she's got the coordinated color in her lips. She's just amazing. Head to toe. Okay. Wow. Jessica, man, her waist is so small. And then the legs and the lats are so big compared to her tiny waist. So when I look at Dee beside her, she also has a small waist, but her legs and delts are not quite as large in comparison to the waist. Like with Jessica, it's an extremely exaggerated shape. Gina, I think has the size in the lats, in the quads, but not quite as tiny of a waistline. So it's not as crazy exaggerated of a shape as Jessica. And then you also have all of that great detail coming through. I think D has some beautiful detail as well. I'm loving the fullness in Corey's legs here. Uh, Zofia, I'm, I apologize for the quality of the photo. That's the only one I could find that she was in the same pose. But you can see great definition coming through, beautiful posing, but she could have a bit more delt, but nobody's delt are like Jessica's. From behind, again, the delts on Jessica stand out. Her tiny waistline here stands out. And just that amount of size in her lats. Beautiful V-taper. Her glutes also have such a nice roundness and smoothness in the transition into her legs. I think she looked really stunning. Okay, pro bikini. In first place, Jessica. Second, Janine. Third, Nusia. Fourth, Karen. And fifth, Alessandra. And as for my predictions, not bad. Okay, so here's Alessandra in fifth place. This is the best yet. I think her waist looks so small and the conditioning is amazing. Great ab detail. But the lines in her legs look so good. This outlining of her quad, um, a little bit of detail coming through in the back leg. You've got this little bit of quad detail by her kneecap. Her delts look amazing. But man, those abs, she looks so good. I love how upright she is. She looks tall. Um, her glute is shown off so beautifully here. I just think that she could level out the shoulders a bit more. This one is being kind of pulled down by her hand. And so if she could just make that a bit more straight, I think it would flatter her um, hourglass shape a little bit more. But that's it. She looks incredible, beautiful suit. Um, she just looks awesome. Okay, Karen in fourth place, gorgeous. Her abs, oh man, her obliques are so visible, extremely small waist, really nice flats, um, tight skin on her stomach, um, beautiful curve. She doesn't have like a big crazy lat. She just has this really nice soft curve all the way down her back. Uh, nice groove here in her hip. I think she's got good lines in her arms. She's posing really well, nice and level, nice and tall. The delt here, I think, is in good balance with the glute. Um, she could, to me, though, have more curve to the quad. The sweep on this leg could be a little bit more and more size on the quad in the back leg, too. But I'm loving her coloring, the suit, the hair, the lipstick. She looks really beautiful. Okay, Nusia in third place. Gorgeous. I love her hair. I love her lipstick. Uh, she's got such great style. And wow, does her glute ever look amazing. We just saw her at the Tampa show. 
And yeah, this is a really good look. She's got super dark tan. It's definitely showing off her conditioning well. I like the line you're seeing here. She's got some nice detail coming through on her back leg. So even a little more, I think, than we saw at Tampa. Nice midsection, good oblique. Love her hamstring. I think this is a good pose. She's really sideways. Um, maybe her midsection is not quite as tight and flat as it was at Tampa, but she still has a great shape and beautiful fullness in her delts, even better than at Tampa. Uh, I think she could, though, twist a little bit more towards the front to get the delt to come out a little bit further. Uh, more in line with the glute but that's kind of it I think she looks really good she's stands out for sure and I love her glute okay Janine in second place amazing I think this is my favorite picture of Janine so far maybe I say that every time but I really really think so this time her shape looks amazing uh, her glute looks so full, so high, so round. Her waistline looks great. Really good curve to her back. I think her delts look awesome. The definition is so good. Really nice outlining. You're seeing both of her shoulders really well. Um, and man, her leg crazy good. She's got great size and the detail coming through is fabulous the line but also a little bit more detail in the back leg down by the kneecap crazy and it's such good hair very full very high the curls are beautiful her makeup is beautiful her suit color of course is beautiful I don't know I just think she really really nailed the look the posing is so flattering and she's incredible and now Jessica in first place, my gosh, she makes it look completely effortless. She's standing so beautifully. Her posing is natural, easy. Um, you see the curve of her back. You see the fullness in her glute. Her quads look lovely. Not as much detail coming through as we saw in Janine, but you're still seeing that nice line coming down the quad, her oblique looks really um, visible, tiny waist, her lats look amazing, really great size that really makes her shoulders come out far. And she's got a beautiful curve to her delts. Just overall, she's got a really nice shape, a softness and a beautiful fullness and gentleness to her physique. And I think she's got a beautiful suit color, great hair, amazing. Okay, in the side-by-sides, Jessica's waist stands out to me. She's got a really nice flatness, smoothness. Um, her obliques are really clear. She's posing with her legs a little bit more straight to the front than some of the other girls. Um, they're a little bit more sideways or a bit more angled. I like that you see the curve of her quad here really clearly. And just her upper body the way she's posing looks really beautiful Janine stands out as well first of all her suit color is so eye-catching but I'm loving all of the lines you're seeing I think Nusha's got a great shape coming through on her glute and hamstring Karen her midsection looks awesome her oblique great shoulders and Elisangela her abs my gosh but then from behind, okay, this is where Jessica really takes it. Her glutes are not only round and full, but she's got such a great proportion with her quads and her inside um, thigh. Like the adductors look so round and full here. It's just such a great seamless transition from the glutes. And she's got very visible tie-ins without it being too lean into the hamstrings. I'm wondering if Janine had just a few too sharp lines coming through in the back of her legs. Jessica just looks full and round and her size is great. Like Nusha, Karen, Elisangela, I don't think they have the size to compare to Jessica, let alone the roundness in her legs. And 
tiny waist on everyone from behind, but a great hourglass coming through on Jessica. Okay, pro physique, women's physique. In first place, Ivy. Second, Caroline. Third, Heather. Fourth, Joanna. And fifth, Susan. And yeah, very close between third and fourth place. As for my predictions, not too bad. Top two. Okay, so here's Susan in fifth place. Amazing conditioning. I'm loving all the detail you're seeing in her quads. Her abs look like perfectly drawn on. She's got a really nice V taper. Um, I don't think it's the best pose to show off the width. I would certainly think that she could have a bit more lat coming out to line up more with the size of her glute, but I think she's got a really nice curve to show off the V taper beautiful delts. Um, and yeah, I'm really in particular liking her conditioning. Next is Joanna in fourth place. Crazy detail coming through in her legs. I'm loving all of the striations in her quads. Nice small waist with good ab detail. Um, great definition in her arms. Her biceps are really popping. I do think she needs more lat. I think the V can be even more extreme to really match with the legs. Um, maybe a little bit more delt also. I think that would help to create even more of that V shape, but amazing posing. You're seeing the X frame. You're seeing, um, the nice small waist. And I think she's showing off the quad sweep really well. Heather, third place, amazing size. Her legs look so big, great delts, beautiful overall amount of muscle. She's got good detail coming through on her abs. Um, the conditioning in her legs looks nice too. So you've got fullness at 3D. They're really popping out and good lines. Um, she's not the most narrow in her waist. So I think she could maybe try posing a little bit more of a twist to the side and try to really highlight the V taper and the, the size in her legs. I also feel like the tan is dark, but there needs to be more glossiness to pull out some of the abs, um, a little bit more of the quad just to make some more of that 3d showing through. Great suit. Um, overall, I think she looked lovely. Okay, Caroline in second place. Oh my gosh. Her conditioning is crazy. Look at her legs. Even compared to the Portugal show, you're seeing so much detail. This quad area here is out of this world. Unreal. Um, really good curves. Also, I love that you can see her glute. She's posing really well to make her waist look as small as possible. Great spread to her lats, beautiful detail coming through in her arms. I just think she looks insane. Um, she definitely could have a bit more delt, I think a bit more height and roundness. And when I look at the Portugal show, I, I do think she had a bit more size maintained in the legs, but man, the conditioning is crazy. I love all of this detail. I think she really looks incredible. And the pink suit with the pink lip is stunning, extremely eye-catching. Her tan is gorgeous. The gloss is perfect. She nailed it. Okay. Ivy in first place. Amazing. Um, man, her waist is so small. Her legs look so smooth. She's got fullness, roundness, really beautiful curves, not as crazy as in the conditioning department as Caroline, but you're still seeing all kinds of detail in the quads, in the abs. Um, even at Texas, I think she had a little bit more conditioning to show off the detail. Um, but, but she's fine. She's perfect as it is. First place, clearly you've got the detail combined with the size and fullness. She's got these great curves to the inside legs, amazing lat spread, a nice height to her delts. Okay. Side by side, Ivy's waistline stands out to me. 
the size in her legs stands out. Um, I think Heather beside her has some really good size, but not as much detail coming through. Um, her delts are so high. Her lats look really good. Like just everything looks really polished and what a seamless silhouette. Caroline's conditioning looks crazy. I'm loving how popping all of the quad muscles are. And then just note here, Caroline and Heather have switched places from the last photo and you can see just how tiny Ivy's waist is. Caroline's conditioning looks really good. She's got some striations coming through in her glutes, but Ivy's V taper with the small waist is undeniable. Um, really spectacular. Heather's got some great size, but I think she needed a little bit more of that cut shape coming through in her glutes. Uh, Susan, I think a bit more as well. The conditioning could have been a bit sharper. Joanna looks amazing, but definitely could use a bit more size into the lat spread. Okay, pro wellness in first place, Nerilda, second, Simara, third, Oana, fourth, Tanya, and fifth, Casey. And as far as my condition, uh, predictions are considered, not too bad. Okay, so here's Casey in fifth place. Oh, she looked beautiful. We've seen her a few times already this season. This was a great look for her. Some nice size and fullness in her legs. Beautiful curve to the back, right? You're just seeing these gorgeous lines outlining, nice hamstrings, just good size, great fullness. I I feel like conditioning was a little bit sharper at Tampa. You could see the lines better in her legs, even in the back leg here. Um, midsection was maybe a little bit more sharp in the ab definition in the oblique. So I think a bit more conditioning would have been good, but she's got beautiful size. Um, her suit color, her hair, her posing, all of that is perfect. Um, she looked beautiful. Next is Tanya in fourth place, and wow, her size is really impressive. You notice it in the lineup. The legs are crazy big. She's got great size to her glutes. They come out nice and far. Good balance with her upper body. I think her delts look impressive, but to me, she's almost crunched, like you're getting a little bit of um, wrinkling in the skin here. I think if she could be more pulled up with the chest up and the shoulders back, I think that would be a little more flattering to her curve and show off the upper body a bit more. Um, I'm not crazy about the hand being in front of her belly button as much as it is. I think she could pull that to the back and it would show off her delt a bit more. But then um, it's still a beautiful overall package, great suit. Uh, I think she looked amazing. Awana in third place. Oh, this is maybe the most crazy, beautiful, impressive package. Um, I mentioned in the prediction video that typically we see her in women's physique. So I think this was so cool to see her doing wellness and to do so well in wellness. Her legs look insane. In the lineup photo, it's the first person I look at is Awana and those beautiful legs. Um, she's got a really great triangular shape to her upper body, beautiful delts, great definition coming through. I'm loving the curve here in her uh, glute, as well as this groove in her hip, just beautiful detail coming through in her quads. I do think though that she needs more height and size in the glute to really make that wellness shape. Um, but overall, I'm super impressed. I love the suit color, love the lipstick. I think she did amazing. Okay, Simara in second place. Gorgeous size, great conditioning. I love all of this detail that you get in her back leg. You saw it at Southern California as well. Um, nice silhouette in the back. I think she's leaning a little bit with the arm is pulling down. So if she could get this shoulder to be a little bit more level, I think that would be a really um, good look for her pose. 
Um, you know, I think the conditioning was maybe a little bit sharper here. I th think her waistline uh, looked a little bit more flat and tight. The legs had a bit more detail. But here we're getting some beautiful curve and size. I think her glutes look really great. Um, the suit is lovely. She's got a lot of jewelry, uh, very eye-catching. Um, maybe she could have, I, I think I preferred a bit more of the streamline look to myself, like what we saw here, a little bit less bracelets, um, a, a more traditional earring. But overall, you can see her personality coming through. Um, she looks stunning and great size, particularly on the legs. And now in first place, Nerilda. So beautiful. She's got crazy big legs, a very large glute, but the glute is so curved right from the tip of her suit all the way around. And even though she has her feet really close together, which I don't normally like, you still have a great view of her back leg. Um, amazing detail coming through in her quads, her calves, great ab definition, nice outlining of her delts. Um, I think she really nailed it. Maybe she could twist a little bit more to get the delt to come out further, but overall, what a crazy shape, nice size, small waist beautiful and the lips are bright the suit is beautiful she just did such a great job okay in the side by side amazing so here's where i think you notice the conditioning on nerilda and oana you're seeing a lot of detail in their back leg in the quads but nerilda's glute has so much size and definition. She's got the groove. She's got the line coming down. She's got this curvy hamstring that's got a nice separation because of this line here from the quads. Small waist, big upper body. So she just had all of the elements you needed. The very large legs, right? No one's size is coming as into the quad area like Norelda's, as well as the glute. I think Simara beside her doesn't quite have the same size in the sweep or the height in the glute, and nobody's definition is matching. Like I said, I'm loving Awana's leg. I think her posing is really lovely. Um, overall, everyone looked amazing, but Nerilda had everything you needed. And from behind, Loving Nerilda's outlining of her glutes. They're full and high and so wide, but the tie-ins are crisp and really clear and easy to see with beautiful sweep to her quads. I'm wondering if Casey couldn't maybe be a little wider in her stance. Um, something to experiment with. I'm, I'm loving Awana. I, I'm really super impressed by her. I think she did a great job. I think Tanya could lose a little bit of length off of her hair. And Samara looked amazing as well, but maybe just not as sharp in the details as we saw with Nerilda. Okay, guys, that concludes my recap of this show. Of course, there are more shows coming up in the future. So make sure you subscribe. Give me a like if you like this video. Comment your thoughts below and come find me. I'm at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.